My name's Aaron, welcome back to my channel. How are you? I'm fantastic and doing really well. I'm rattling. Today I'm viewing Louba Crown Eda Parfum by Christian Louboutin and I have this little presentation. It's 225 pounds for 90 mil. It's an Eda Parfum, it's oriental, it's woody and the fragrance notes are patchouli, cedarwood and tonka bean. Each fragrance from Christian Louboutin's Louba World collection is housed in a high octane red glass bottle but the Louboutin Air de Parfum is also topped with a crown to represent aristocracy and wealth formulated with patchouli cedarwood and tonka bean accords the scent is both woody and oriental perfect for women who prefer grounded and evocative fragrance do we have our bottles of Christine Louboutin Louba crown are we engaged with the higher self let's get testing so I'm a bit sad that it says it's for women I mean quite liked it. I'm triggered. I'll speak to my therapist about that. The girl on the counter was very, very nice. This really needs a little sprayer because it's gone everywhere. This is unisex. This is not female leading at all. I think this is unisex. This reminds me of my old patchouli noir, which I discontinued the second version of it. Quite similar to it, if I'm kind of honest with you. I see super Javanel. Javanel is a great raw material. It is solid room temperature, has to be heated up to work with it. It smells, in my, what I think, it smells the most sort of luxurious, expensive of all the sandwood like raw materials. It sort of it has a resonance to it. It's beautiful with other sandwood like raw materials, but it's particularly glorious, I think. I love working with it very much. I prefer this one to the first one. This is more complex, expensive raw materials than this. This is a concophony of sandalwood raw materials. Bangalore, polysantol, ebnol. That is through the top. So you're getting this beautiful ebony, sandalwoody finish on the formulation. Vibrant, smooth, vanillary, kumarin, all of notes rushing through it. It's just quite glorious. Silky, smooth. It also reminds me of somebody leave your comments what it was before it was a yellow bottle and i gave it a 10 because it was vanilla I, and i can't remember what it was it was like that oh they're all merging into one at this point but this reminds it really reminds me of it as well so this is a combination of my patchouli noir and that one so i really like it patchouli cedarwood i know it smells really like my work actually i gotta say that it's kind of a it reminds me massively of my work that sort of dark rich nature and a lot of what i use i use very expensive uh, raw materials in my work i as i've mentioned before when the reps come to me i like the most exciting uh, raw materials and they tend to be very expensive because i like things that are really vibrant and have a feel to it and i uh, you know they're the wood and amber raw materials that i like and they're very expensive and i like working with them personally and as a smaller company i can this could be classified as an udi a cord in there as well from the cypress and balsams in there so those sort of like uh, raw materials in there are particularly gorgeous on to my final thoughts i really really like this it smells like my work it smells like quite a few things so it's 225 for 90. so this would be 125 pounds 50 mil so go through my final marks for you safe legal compliant super professional it is 125 pounds for 50 mil I have, to, I have to do that because i cost it into what mine are 125 pounds for 50 mil yeah that's about the right price because the raw materials in it i love it i think this is like beautiful the sound wood nature is just particularly glorious there's a caveat in this the projection isn't out there and for 100 pounds up we need the projection out there and that could be fixed by pushing up some ambers in it a little bit more i think and uh, linalol compounds being pushed into it and some citruses in it as well all those kind of stuff would have helped it be really robust and that's really going to be my criticism with it for 125 pounds or whatever it was i don't really think about the packaging you see i kind of do i loved it i mean the last one looked like you could sort of knock someone else you know it could be like a serial killer a fragrant serial killer weapon that's what that could have been but this for that amount of money needs to be a wall of fragrance and that's really what what i think for that amount of money it has to be simply because of that i'm going to mark it an eight out of ten if it fixed that and it was this wall of fragrance robust strong all that stuff massive sillage i would give it a 10 but for just for that i'm going to take two marks off because i really think it 
for that price, you really need it. So below that review, thumbs up and subscribe. More fascinating, interesting content, lots of moving hands and lots of fragrance views. Hope staying safe and well. See you soon.